Hey, happy homebrew Wednesday. Let's get a beer. So this is my cream ale that you'll see I brewed in this uh, Homebrew Wednesday video. So it's been, it's been a while since the brew day. So the intro footage uh, in this video that you saw is uh, brew day from last weekend, which is uh, was natural, National Homebrew Day. So last Saturday, me and number 22 um, did a couple beers, had some people come from the Homebrew Club come over, and uh, uh, we brewed, uh, I think, four beers that day. Yeah, four. So that's the intro footage. I did a, did a big uh, double IPA, sort of like a... Uh, Firestone Walker Union Jack clone, changed a little bit of the grain bill, changed a little bit of the hops because I didn't have any uh, Apollo and uh, and got some Magnum. So, but this is the cream ale that I made. You can't really tell in the lighting, but it's deep red. Clarity is is fantastic. Let's see if I can get a little light so you can see. As you see there, I mean, it's a good looking beer. So let me turn that off so it doesn't look like I'm some weird creature from space. But yeah, so this is it from that. Um, I also did a double stout, uh, well a 10 gallon double batch of stout that day, which is uh, in the bourbon barrel. So we did uh, finally transferred out the, the barrel beer mistake where we combined a pale ale with um, a, a porter and put it in the barrel. Um, that came out it's really good. So it kind of meets the profile of an old ale. Um, bourbon aroma is really good. It's actually carbon up right now in the in the kegerator. It's taking a little while to carb up, I think, because of the ABV is so high. So it's been three, four days at you know 16, 17 psi, and it's still it's got carb in it, just not a not a lot. It's not it's not lingering like you'd want it to. But it's a really good beer. We separated that out. Lermo's got his five gallons. I got my five gallons, uh, charging up in the keg right now. So. Other than that, not a whole lot going on in the, in the brew world. Uh, got a new burner, going to op test that this weekend. Um, I'm on my second beer that's sitting in the uh, seven gallon uh, stainless uh, fermenter. Very happy with that. I'm definitely going to buy the temperature controller. Um, that double IPA got up to about 75 degrees uh, at peak fermentation. I had to like move it in the basement and put a fan on it to get it, you know, to calm back down to like 68, 69. So hopefully I caught it early enough that uh, I didn't get any off flavors from the peak temperature that I had there for a couple hours. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get the uh, the FTSS, which is a, a coil that sits in the lid and you put a cooler on the side and it's got a little pump and it circulates cool water to maintain your fermentation temperature. I think that's going to be well worth it, especially here in Virginia during the summertime. We have issues with... Uh, keeping beers at the temperature you want so that you don't end up with off flavors and you know a little apple dapple as we like to call it here so anyway let's get a taste on this ah, man it's good real malty um, very smooth though from you know being a cream ale makes it you know as you can tell got good carb on it end up finishing up with just shy of 5% ABV so definitely a sessionable beer put down several of those my uh my in-laws and stuff are here and they've been pounding this so i guess it's a good beer so that being said uh it's a homebrew wednesday video but it's taking me into thursday to get the video editing done so um happy homebrew wednesday happy thursday thursday it's barrage brewer we'll hit you next time let's launch you today here in the barrage doing a double brew stout uh 10 gallon batch and then over there in the corner doing a uh, five gallon cream ale. So let's get it on. Hazel, what you doing? What's that? Is that water? What is that? Hey, so you learn how to brew beer? Sparging two beers simultaneously. 
with the with the brown the brewmaster right here checking it out. Hey, so what's that? Is that beer?